Hi everyone! This video is an experiment to see which method would produce better results for growing lettuce, the hydroponic Kratky method or the traditional soil method. I begin by using the same seeds and same starting method for both. Here are the seeds I used. These are from Burpee. They are the green ice variety. And here are the seedlings. I started these seedlings by planting them in rock wool. Here you can see the package of rock wool I used. These are great to start seeds in. You can watch one of my earlier videos on growing lettuce to see how to start these seeds. When the seeds are around this size with the roots coming out from the bottom of the rock wool cubes, then they are ready to transplant. So now let's move to the experiment. I transplanted four of the seedlings into mason jars using the Kratky method. The seedlings are in a net cup sitting in the mason jars with these clay pebbles filling in all the spaces around the seedling. I also mix some hydroponic plant food into the water to give the lettuce plants some nutrients while they grow. I use this grow big formula. You just mix two teaspoons into a gallon of water and then fill the mason jar with the solution. So here are the hydroponic lettuce plants after three weeks and they look pretty healthy. I usually harvest these at five to six weeks and they turn out pretty good. If you're not familiar with this method, you can watch a previous video I made using the Kratky method to grow lettuce. I'll put the link to that video in the description box below. I wanted to do an experiment and compare my regular hydroponic method with what would happen if I grew these in soil. Would they grow faster? Would they grow healthier? Would they grow slower? So I transplanted four of the seedlings into soil using red solo cups. So now let's have a look at these plants. It was all done at the same time with the same seeds under the same lights. They are also around three weeks old at this point. So let's compare the two plants and it is pretty clear to me that there is a difference between the two. This is very interesting. Remember, these seeds come from the same seed packet. They were grown under the same growing conditions, the same grow lights. So as seedlings, there was no difference between these plants. They were transplanted at exactly the same time. They were grown under the exact same lights. So I have four plants growing hydroponically and four plants growing in soil. And I think it is very clear that the four on the left, the hydroponic lettuce, are much smaller than the four on the right grown in soil. So the lettuce and soil grew at a much faster rate at the three week mark. There is also a difference in the color of the leaves and the texture. The hydroponic leaves are darker green and a bit thicker in feel than the lettuce grown in soil, which is a lighter green color and much thinner, limper leaves. Here you can see the growing area for these experimental plants. They were kept on the same shelf, the same distance from the grow lights, which are 6500 Kelvin. You can see pretty clearly here, side by side, the hydroponic lettuce on the left and the lettuce grown in soil on the right. The soil method definitely wins at the three week mark, but the story doesn't end there. Let's keep going, or should I say growing? So let's fast forward three more weeks to the six week mark and see what happens. Here are the lettuce plants in soil. They look great, ready to eat. The color of the leaves have turned a bit darker green, but wait, let's see what the hydroponic lettuce looks like. And these look much greener and more robust than the plants in soil. These have really filled out. You will notice I covered the mason jars in aluminum foil. That's to keep the light from hitting the water and causing algae to grow there. We don't want algae to grow, so it's a good idea to block out the light one way or another. I find the aluminum foil is an easy way to accomplish that. Let's have a look at the roots on the hydroponic plants and you can see a nice healthy root system here. The plants are both ready at the six week mark. You can harvest them now or let them grow for another week or two. I guess it depends how hungry you are. But if I stop this experiment at the three week mark, my conclusion would have been very different. You remember at the three week mark, the lettuce growing in soil was growing at a much quicker rate and the plants were much larger. But we waited until the six week mark to draw a conclusion and at six weeks the hydroponic plants have caught up and I think they are actually more healthy looking than the soil plants if the color is any indication. They also feel a bit thicker as they did at the three week mark. Well there you have it, soil versus hydroponic. I think this experiment shows that the hydroponic method will produce the same or even better results than the soil method. The advantage to using a hydroponic method is that it is cleaner than using soil and is easier to maintain since you don't have to remember to water the plants, obviously since they're growing in water. 
you can literally set it and forget it. Using the soil method, there is more risk of contamination or bugs from the soil, and you have to remember to water the plants to keep them happy. So which method do you prefer? I would love to hear your comments and suggestions. I'm also experimenting with my broccoli microgreens. I started one batch of seeds on paper towels and the other batch on soil, and I'm curious to see if there's a difference between the two methods. Obviously, the paper towel method is a cleaner method, so I'd like to see if it produces the same quality of microgreens. I hope you enjoyed this experiment. Please subscribe if you like my videos and comment below if you have any suggestions. Thank you for watching. Bye!